Hmm. Something seems to be missing here. Don't worry. I got you, dog. <laughs> see, see what I did there? What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and thank you for joining us for another action figure review. We are looking at the SH Figure Arts Megumi Fushiguro from Jujutsu Kaisen. I love this anime, and I love this character. If you're looking to pick up this figure, he's soon to be available at www.dstartoys.com. Your level source for awesome action figures. He's coming in real soon, so keep an eye out on our website. So let's get into this toy review. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about this figure. But before that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that no notification bell so you're always going to know when I post new videos. So let me tell you how I feel about this figure. This is a great figure. Look at this face. Wow. That is really cool. If there's anything I have to say bad about this figure, obviously he needs to come with his divine dogs we are getting a figma version soon and you will be getting the dogs uh, I was really sad that you don't get them and he doesn't really come with much accessories not even three face plates he only has two total and you get an Itadori face plates for some reason face plate for some reason <laughs> I don't know why but yeah he needs more accessories uh, considering the cost I believe he's almost $60 I know that this anime is really blowing up, especially since the movie came out, so they're really trying to bank in. And, and don't get me wrong, this is a really nice figure. He has a lot of articulation points. And here's something I notice about these fig this figure in particular. He's really hardy. And when I say hardy, it's kind of like he's heavy, he feels durable, and he doesn't feel fragile. Like, for example, when Figure Arts first came out, or, or when figure arts first came out with their Dragon Ball Z line, you can tell that the figure and the plastic well, just wasn't as sturdy. And now, who knows, what is that, 12 years later now? <laughs> we have a really hearty feeling, really nice, heavy figure. Well, he's not super heavy, but you get, you get what I'm saying. He just feels really nice. It's a really good figure. Anyway, so now that you know exactly how I feel, he's just missing some accessories. Let's dive deeper and let's go into paint and detail. So let's move these dogs. I'm going to tell you more about these later, probably in the accessories. And let's look at the most important part here, which is the face. This face is really, really nice. It is anime perfect, in my opinion. I don't see anything wrong with it. It is really nicely shaded. The eyes are great looking. The lips are perfectly drawn on and everything like that. And let's not forget this hair. Look at the hair. Nice and spiky. Has a really nice matte finish to it. Not super matte, but just right. And I have to say, the best thing about this figure is how well they did the face and head sculpt. This is a really good head sculpt. I really, really like it. Looking fantastic. And we can move the collar up just a little bit. Um, just a little bit. I think he even comes with a collar, if I remember correctly. Hold on one second. I got to make sure about that. No, he doesn't. But yeah, you could move the collar up just a little bit so you can hide his face just a little bit like that. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's look at the rest of the suit. It's just the plain black suit that he's wearing here with the jacket and the pants. And of course, we have the brown shoes right there, which look really cool. So very anime accurate in my opinion. I'm wondering how Figma is going to do theirs. Uh, is theirs going to be better? I know there's going to, you're going to get Divine Dogs, but you're also going to be paying, I think he's going to be like 40 bucks more. That's almost $100 for this figure. Wow. That's a really steep price just so you can get two dogs and a few extra hands maybe. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. Uh, when it comes to paint detail, let's move on to articulation and scale. First things first, let's take out the ruler. Let's see how tall this guy's standing. He's standing at the very tippy top of his hair right there. Six inches exactly. And we got to compare him with other action figures. We have Itadori himself. And I've kind of kept him in this face. I really like this. So there you have it. These two work really well together. And you got to have Gojo, everyone's favorite. Here's Gojo right here. By the way, did you guys like the movie? I love the movie. Uh, Janelle and I got invited to the premiere 
which was really exciting. Uh, yeah, we got free popcorn and everything. We got to see the voice actors and actresses. It was great. Anyway, so there you have it. Uh, those are the current SH Figure Arts uh, Jujutsu Kaisen figures that I have now. Uh, so, yeah, they look like they work really well together, as they should. Now, let's jump into different territory here. Let's look. Of course, i got to show these. The SH Figure Arts Deadpool with the... Uh, Desert Eagles that I made and the custom holsters. So it looks like he works really well with other action figures too, even with the live action stuff. And we're going to be moving on to Majin Vegeta from SH Figure Arts as well. Someone in the comments said to me, Why do you combine like all your figures? Why do you want to put like Marvel and animated? Because with action figures, people, you can open. The world of imagination and combine figures together like so or you can have Deadpool fight this guy I mean wouldn't this be awesome who would win in a fight here come on <laughs> we have to ask these questions and you know what you can answer these questions yourself if you have these two and you could have them fight isn't that awesome <laughs> oh of course Marvel Legends duh and we have a Marvel Legends uh, armored spider-man so open your mind. Don't just stick with one type of series. Put them together and have them fight. That's what I say. If imagination didn't exist, we wouldn't have Marvel versus Capcom, people. Come on. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's talk about articulation. We have an up and down here at the toe. We have an up and down here at the ankle with an ankle pivot right there. We have a double jointed knee right there. We have the version two joints right here at the crotch so you can get solid kicks. Look at this kick. Isn't that awesome? Fantastic. Uh, we have an ab crunch here, but the plastic part right here of his jacket kind of gets in the way, so you can't get a full-blown ab crunch, but this is good enough for me, in my opinion. And also, they do rotate. We have butterfly joints right here, and these work really well. So you can get his arms to cross. Let's see if we can do a cross arms right here. So you can get something like this. That's pretty cool. We have, do we have a bicep swivel? No, we have sort of a bicep swivel. This isn't a true bicep swivel. I, I, you need to have the cut right here to be a true bicep swivel, in my opinion. We have a double jointed elbow right here. We have a ball and peg right here at the wrist and two at the neck. So his neck is like super articulated. Maybe, maybe it's just, no, it really is just that articulated. Anyway, yeah, lots of points of articulation. We're looking easily at over 20 points of articulation. You can get all of your favorite poses down for this guy. Of course, we got to do the superhero landing pose. Someone in the comments said, how come you don't do that anymore? Well, you know what? I'm trying. Oh, wow, look at this. So because the head or neck joint is really articulated, you can get a really nice superhero landing pose. Let's look here. That's how all figure arts should be, in my opinion, where you have a really articulated neck peg, so you can get that looking at the camera. Let's add the dogs in there. Why not? Just to make it even cooler. Look at that. I think that's going to be a thumbnail right there. That looks really, really cool. So yeah, you can activate all the joints so you can get all those cool poses. Sure, let's get some kicks in. Of course, we got to have him do a side kick right here. That looks really good. Let's adjust the camera right there. Look at that. That looks really nice and martial artsy. And of course, speaking of Marvel versus Capcom, or Jujutsu Kaisen versus Capcom in this case, uh, we have a sure you can pose. So there you have it. And of course, you have a hurricane kick. Sure, why not? And of course, just like everything else that I do, we try to get some breakdancing poses here. And let's see if he can balance out with that really articulated neck joint. Yes, you can. You can get really nice breakdance poses. Let me just tell you, I honestly didn't think, like, I, I did play with this figure for a while, but I, I didn't really mess with the neck. I was just playing around with his kicks and punches. And then <laughs> just right now, usually I, when it comes to these toy reviews, I, this is kind of a surprise. I just realized this is the most articulated neck peg. I think SH Figure Arts has ever made. Anyway, let's move on to accessories here. So let's go to the top hand. Let's see what we're looking at here. Like I said, we're not looking at much. This is so unfortunate. Um, the, the Divine Dogs would have been really great, but we just get like the hands uh, that he does. These uh, 
hand movements right here, which is really nice. So you can put these two together. Usually we don't look at hands. We usually save this to the end. But you know what? Since he doesn't have much accessories, yeah, this is what we get right here. Lots of hands that are together like this. And they don't come apart, if you were wondering that. And, of course, we get the Itadori face uh, when he's possessed. We get another one. It should have... I don't know why we just didn't get this one with the first Itadori. So, anyway. And we just get another uh, Megumi face uh, of him yelling. I would have would have liked another one just to make the package even better. Maybe a smirking face would have been nice. I know he doesn't really smile much, but, yeah, a smirking face would have been nice. Now, let's go to the front cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So let's remove the face, and we're just going to replace the single face plate that he comes with. We're going to see how this is. This is him yelling. There you have it. This is it. Him yelling. There he is. He's just yelling at you. <laughs> uh, now, man, like I said, I'm just so sad he doesn't come with more stuff. Anyway, let's get the hands in so we can summon his dogs. And let's look here. So luckily we do have really nice butterfly joints so we can get these hands together as they should. Also, single hands would have been nice. Like all you get is like these uh, as single hands. <laughs> just open palm. And I don't know. I just always expected him to come with more stuff, I guess. Like when we get a Goku figure, he comes with like 18 hands. Like, jeez. Does he really need that many? Yeah, I guess he does. I mean, he is a Goku, but... Anyway, there you have it. That's something like... Hold on. Let me pop this in better. Okay, so here we have it with the, the two hands right here. Uh, usually, we he doesn't yell when he's doing this, I don't think. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the faceplate we have on right now. So there you have it. Those are the hands together. And this was actually kind of tough to get in, but luckily... His joints are actually really nice and sturdy, unlike a certain company. Mayfex, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't make fun of Mayfex. They only had, like, a couple of figures that had bad joints, okay? A.K.A. Sp Mayfex Spider-Man. Uh, okay, so anyway, there we have it. So this one, yeah, this one's more appropriate. So let's get him in his fighting pose or stance. Okay, so it's something like this, right? And then we can get the dogs in. And there you have it. So this is really cool looking. So let's talk about these dogs. Someone, oh, I forgot where I got these, honestly. I think my mini factory had, uh, I think the dogs were originally supposed to be like one six scale. So I scaled them down and then I printed them and I painted them. And I think they look really cool. They don't articulate, unfortunately. So basically, I'm just going to put them kind of like here. And also, they don't have eyes. <laughs> I don't know why he, the guy who made these didn't put eyes on them. I think I'm going to have to uh, edit the file and put eyes on them so I can paint them. I believe they're yellow. Uh, and also, I believe in the anime, they are much furrier. But you know what? For now, I think this is really cool until the Figma one comes out. So, let's come up with a conclusion of the Megumi Fushiguro from Jujutsu Kaisen. Is this figure worth it? Yeah, if you love the anime, if you watch the anime, you need to get this figure. Plain and simple. Especially if you've been getting the SH Figure Arts figures. Um, will this be better than the Figma version? I don't know. The Figma version does come with dogs, and they do look better than the 3D printer ones that I have here because they're much furrier and they're more accurate to the anime, and they're a licensed product. Um, but will it be worth the, what, 90 bucks? Eee, that is really steep. We're already paying like 60 bucks for this figure, so another add another 30 just for a few extra face plates would be a difficult decision. So I'll leave that to you. If you're you should get the Figma one or this one, right now... I really like the way this one looks. The Figma one, in my opinion, doesn't look as good as the SH Figure Arts one. So you can go ahead and 
destroy me in the comments on that one if you disagree. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And if you're looking to pick this guy up, you know where to go. www.eastartoys.com awesome action figures. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.